What's going on, YouTube? This is what Josh do, and this is my Meshify C case. Uh, I cannot fit my 140 millimeter fan on it, so I was kind of upset that I could only have the one fan in the middle. My RAM was too high, and the fan wasn't on it. So I was looking at this guy, and I saw all the Amazon reviews, and I figured I'd try it out because a lot of people have the Meshify C case. And a lot of people have the NHD15 or NDH15 or whatever the heck that huge cooler with two fans is. And you want to use both fans, obviously, because it's, you know, it's two fans. So let's open up this package and see what's in it. Alright, so we're at a little bit of a better angle here. Very nice packaging. First thing I noticed was how hefty the freaking uh, packaging is. Like, this thing weighs a couple pounds. So, let's go ahead and uh, pull this thing out. And that wraps up that. Just maybe some instructions. Then we have the fan. Uh, I'm not going to be using any of these. Those are like, uh, I will be using this actually. It takes a 4-pin PWM. Makes it to two 4-pin PWMs. I will need that for some of my fans. Uh, upon getting some more Noctua fans, and this is an extender, and it's a low noise adapter. It even tells you, uh, well, this isn't a low noise adapter. This is just a pure extension. Okay, cool. So I'll be keeping that, and then you've got like some rubber mounts, and then you've got this, and these, and then some screws. And then the fan comes out. And I cannot believe how much this weighs. Like, this weighs more than this. That's crazy. But, uh, look how freaking close it is. Compare it to the... I mean, that's pretty close, too. But, uh... So these don't have... Well, they do have the rubber things on the side, so I'll probably keep those there. But these come off, so I want to match this up. I'm going to go ahead and pause because this will be too long. But I need to match these up where the airflow goes the right way. I need it to go from the front of the case out to the back. And this has, like, arrows or should have... Okay, right there. So I don't quite know what this... I don't quite know what this arrow means. But I know what that one means. The arrow goes that way. Not sure why that arrow is like that. So maybe, I don't know. But I do know that I want to mount this fan to my case. So I need an arrow to go that way towards the back. Cool. So then I need my brackets to go on the other way. Okay, let me pause it and put them on. I believe I have that on correctly because that's kind of how it was before. But I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and shut down my computer and try this out. Take my tempered glass off. I know that I hit somewhere in the 60s when playing a CPU intensive game. Uh, and then I've, I've hit higher than that while editing videos and stuff. Because uh, this is an 8700K. So let's go ahead and shut this thing down and put this fan on it. Alright, so that should give you a pretty good view. So this will just need to go like that and mount to the side of it. So I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna be really hard to do on camera. So it's not exactly like the friendliest setup. It wasn't like meant for it, but I have it hooked up into the, there's two fan power things here. There's one and then the bottom one that's the fan here in the middle. So now I should all put my tempered glass side on because they this one actually is Lesson. You know, I wonder if it would be better to put two of these in here uh, and take this one out and put another one of these in there. Uh, I digress. But anyways, let's power it on. And so now we see the fan spins up. And we'll see if my temperatures are a little better in my games that I play. So I'll be right back. I definitely want to get fans. I have two 120s in the front. Just a lot of brainstorming here. So down here is where I can put a third fan, but I got to move my drive cage, which has my 12 terabyte hard drive in it. Um, I guess the size doesn't really matter, but 
Uh, <laughs> so I didn't mean to point that out. But um, I have to get a... I have a Corsair R550 uh, power supply. I want to get a bigger one. And I want to get a 140. Probably a... a I can't remember who, who the brand is, but they make compact 140 ones. But that way I can have a smaller one back there. And then be able to push the drive cage back and put a fan... I probably don't need that much space to put another fan right here. I don't know. But I want to get three Noctua fans for the front that are PWM. Since my board has two PWM fan headers and I can use a splitter. Such as this guy. And uh, have two PWM fans there. And then have a PWM fan down here. And the one in the back of the case connected to the same header. So I think that would be pretty awesome. Two, you know, two PW fans right here on one header, and then this fan and this fan on another header, and two two headers, four fans, and be able to control. Yeah, you know, I, I just think having three fans would be awesome, they, especially Noctua ones that are really quiet and really efficient. All right, the uh, tuper glass panels on. I have a light shining down to see the components in there. They're both fans spinning up. Let's see. Let's check our temperatures in uh, GTA. First, we need to run Fan Expert 4, and it knows that the fans have changed. So let's do a fan tuning. Yes. And it's going to go ahead and uh, mess around with how high I can turn them up and how low it can turn them down, and you know how many fans I have and stuff like that. So I'll let this run, I'll be right back. All right, so. Here we are. Uh, let me go ahead and just grab a car and drive around. But I'm already noticing definitely lower temperatures. I mean, I was hitting in the 60s, about 62, 64. And so it appears to be keeping... I have never saw below 50. Uh, probably never below 54 um, with the you know one fan setup. And I do have it on full speed right now, so all my fans are... At their highest speed possible. That's a really nice car. But, ooh, okay. So we'll just grab... Is there a police officer in that car? Alright. Let's turn the freaking radio off, so... Don't get in trouble for that. That was really... not. Oh, it's the same... It's the same color. I like that color better, though. This color is way nicer. I'm, I'll, I'll just, I'm just gonna borrow your car, dude. So this game is on whatever Nvidia set the old the settings to. So it's at the highest I believe it can go. So we'll go to video here. And under advanced graphics, it's only an old 1080p monitor, but yeah, everything's set to very high. Whatever it was, whatever Nvidia had set it to. I have a 1070 Ti graphics card, the Asus Strix overclocked. Um, nice card, but. Yeah, dude, hovering at about 50 degrees, which is more than 10 degrees cooler than before. I can't, uh, I can't complain about that at all. This game likes to use the crap out of the CPU. Anyways, so that was the Noctua A. 12x15 or something? A12x25. A12x25. NF-A12x25 PWM. So I'm looking at the computer and not driving at my Chromebook over here. Uh, I keep a Chromebook for like when I don't want to alt tab in between things. But I'd say it was pretty good. Especially like editing videos. I was hitting, you know, much higher temperatures than I want to say. 
uh, past the 70s, let's say. <laughs> but hopefully this will keep it cool, and I can already tell a 10 degree difference right now. So, no complaining. I do want, since I have an Asus motherboard, Asus graphics card, uh, GC.